Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today we're going to make a cute little birdhouse card. And I've gone ahead and welded the two parts together and then I've cut one extra one to put it on top so that, because otherwise the birdhouse would just be kind of in half. So you cut an extra one of these out so that you can put it on top and make it look like a fur, full birdhouse. And I've got this really neat wood grain paper. So I'm just going to add some of my little Zig 2A glue pen to all the little spots onto this. And you may need to go back and add a little bit more glue if you see it not really sticking well. So there are a couple little spots that I needed to add a little bit more glue to to make sure that it stays adhered nicely. And now let's get started with the rest of the decorating here. I've got a little brown piece that will go down toward the bottom. So I'm going to do that here. And I'll just use my tape because this is a, a decent size that I can just run my little tape gun alongside it. And then any little pieces that are poking out of the glue, just tuck those little pieces in. There, that looks good. And now we'll do the top part here of the little birdhouse. So I'll do the same thing where I'm just going to add my tape gun here. Get it all the way down, and maybe a little bit more down on that side as well. And anything you see poking out, just tuck it in, and then we'll just push along there. And then it can go upwards and push on this side. I am noticing a little piece I need to tuck in here. Okay, there's that. Very cute. And now I've got my little bird here that I've gone ahead and added the beak and added the eye and it does need a little bit of a wing done to it so I'm just going to add the little wing here this should be just fine just using this you could use glue or this but I think this will be just fine so there's that piece and now we've got a little heart that will go in the center here so I'm just going to use my ATG tape again add a couple little pieces of tape on here. There we go. Add that in the center and then it's got a little dot that goes right about here for like the entryway. So I'm just going to do that. Get my little tweezer bees and add that little thing there. Little circle. And last but not least we need to add this cute little bird that I'll add off to the side here. And I do think I want that little bird up on mounting foam, so I'm going to grab that real quick. And actually, I'm starting to think maybe I can add that on an action wobble. I think it might be able to fit. So let me take a look and see where we are with this little action wobble here. Okay, so I've got the base of this pad here. And I'm going to peel off the base of this action wobble and peel off the top part of this action wobble. Pull that all the way off here. There we go. And one other little piece. Alright, so this is the top part. And I'm going to watch that here as I stick this onto here. Make sure I keep that within the edges. And then I'll add my little bird right onto there. And now my little bird will wobble. That's so cute. Okay, I love that. And I'm glad I chose to do that instead of just a regular just mounting foam because now I just add a little bit of action to it. So cute. So I need a little sentiment. I'm going to figure out if I'm going to put it on the inside or on the outside. So let me play around with it just for a little bit. And I'll show you where I end up putting it. Okay, so what I did was stamp hello in white. And this is some writing, it's a stamp set, but it's actually writing from Christina Warner. So I just love her handwriting and I think that looks super cute. So there's my little card on a cute little action wobble. I hope you guys enjoy this and have a fabulous day everybody. Bye bye.